So they stored the pharmaceuticals in the vault. Look at this. Yeah, you look at the vault and go, they have a lot of money? And it's like, no, but they have a lot of opium. They have a lot of opium. <laughs> <laughs> a big deal. Hey, we're back at the Deco Fortress with Sam and Sarah Jane. We promised we'd come back. There was so much more to see. We left you hanging. So we came back and the first thing I thought would be interesting to hear about is the history of this building. Okay, so tell us about this place. Okay, so the Park Lane Clinic building, which is where we are right That's now, this place. Okay. also known as now lovingly known as the Deco Fortress, was a feeder clinic for the Park Lane Hospital. So Dr. Smith, Frank Smith, um, he had the Park Lane Hospital, and he also had another older building that was here, and he was kept getting permits and permits to fix and fix and fix this very old building, which is on the old 1875 map. And That building was probably not built as a clinic, or was it? Well, it, it actually was. Oh, there, really? there was a pharmacy on this side, and then... Yeah. So this hospital that was it was a feeder for... Do you have any idea how long that one was there or when it was built? Uh, yes. Yeah, so here in 39, he was getting an addition to that hospital. In 18? No, 1930. 19, 1939, he was getting, he was right. building those extra stories in the back. Okay. And then this, this building was built in 41. One, 41. 41. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then this, the nurse's home, they did, they acquired that in 42. Okay, and was that just a big house that was nearby? Yeah, pretty much nearby. They didn't build it specially. For, <laughs> they did not. But they built this building especially. specifically to be an intake building. Yes. To be a clinic. Mm -hmm. The neighborhood feeding this area, you know, right across from the lump. So. Wow, and you know some people who came here, right? <laughs> I do. So I have a friend. Um, should I name him? <laughs> He's a friend, friend Bill. Bill. There you go, Bill. That's fine. There's a lot of bills in the world. Right, Bill. So he lived over on Cherokee, and he was a kid, and he was telling his mother that, oh, my side hurts, oh, and my side hurts, and he stole $20 out of her purse, ran over here, and he the had mother a, thought he ate too much candy. <laughs> and he had appendicitis. Wow, the kid saved yep. his own life. Yes. Right. <laughs> That's impressive. So when this was built, it was also next to the Marine Hospital, which is what this area is named for, which was a huge hospital right. over there. That later became record storage for government because it was government property. Is it still now there? Is the building around? The building no. that's government storage is still there. Right. But yeah, they tore it. That was like an 1800s hospital. Okay. It was really huge. There is a tore lot of history after World about War II. the Marine Hospital online. Yeah. You can find a lot of that. But that's what it was named for. It probably made sense to put a feeder clinic here because. So <laughs> I'm thinking of this feeder clinic like urgent care now. Yep. Sort of like yeah, where everybody sure. came first mm -hmm. to see if it was serious. And if right. it was, they got sent to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, bandaged and sent on their way. Yes. Yep. By yes. a doctor. Yes. Would doctors man this place? Do you have any idea? So doctors and so this side was actually a pharmacy. Okay. The side we're on. So there were walls there. Remember that there's yeah. walls and that was the lobby coming in. And the other side was cut up into exam rooms. And downstairs. And they made the drugs downstairs. Where was the main entry? In the front. Here. Okay. So this was would be the entry for, the, um, for pharmacy. the pharmacy, which was the Marine Avenue Pharmacy. Okay. So then in, um, I'm just going to skip here to 48, the uh, <laughs> Dr. Smith uh -huh. uh, get, acquires this land in St. Charles Park Lane Hospital Farm out in Old Orchard. Okay. So he, they had a retreat too. So they're going health all around well-being. So this was a whole, mess, whole, you know, a whole wellness. Center, yes. I guess, you <laughs> right. Call it, holistic. <laughs> yeah. So. The, <laughs> so did these doctors then? They they were different than what we think of, almost like a personality. So they would oh, have absolutely. a retreat. You were kind of following this person's prescription of mm -hmm. life mm -hmm. for happiness and. I would say so. Oh yeah. I would say so. Wow. <laughs> It's a different, diff medicine was different. I mean, you had Kellogg, I'm familiar with that sort of right. idea, but this guy was kind of doing something similar. Mm -hmm. He had a retreat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure he was on that bandwagon person. where he goes, get out of the city and get some country air. And, you know, <laughs> it's, that was a big move. 
Eat kind turn. of the naturalist movement, which starts around the turn of the century. Okay, so I don't know, simplistic where, foods, yeah. um, you know, getting um, nature and air and uh, mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that. So, no, you know, I mean, wasn't, I, it's all good I'm stuff. I'm all for that. It wasn't all a <laughs> yeah. So, so Dr. Smith, so he got into an accident um, <laughs> in the 60s and he was leaving his home, which was his last known address. Okay, so we're, we're going to see if we can drive by, past that and get a picture. Yeah, it's that, still standing. 5215 Lindell was yeah. his last address. So he, I guess, got into an accident in the alley. Oh, my. And he didn't go to his own hospital. Wow. <laughs> he went to Barnes. So it could have had uh, to do with, you know, the level of trauma. Yeah, it could have been yeah. really serious mm -hmm. or something that Barnes could have had. Yeah. Wow, okay. It was probably yeah. like, you know, a crazy solid metal dash and, yeah. you know, yes. <laughs> they just hose it out. So that, that so that was, you know, kind of an interesting thing that he didn't go to his home. But, you know, I'm sure, there, died, I'm sure right? there is a reason. Yes, that is how he died. So mm -hmm. he died from that accident. He did. All right, well. The and stress isn't great for these stairs, I'm not going to lie. The stress is beautiful. <laughs> it's not great for stairs. Okay. <laughs> hey, we have to stop. One more time and talk about this just gorgeous, gorgeous ins insulation of vitrolite. Can you tell us what was the purpose? I think we forgot to ask last time. What are we looking at here? It, it's an elevator door and surround. From where again? From the Hadley Dean Glass Company. It's just insane. Just downtown. It's something you would see almost like on a movie set or something. It's so beautiful. The entire lobby. Yeah, it was a showpiece for their business. Mm -hmm. And what was their business? Glass. Vitrolite so tile. The, okay, so they were showing off their product. product. This plus no. just glass. Clear okay. glass, too. Okay. Any kind of glass. But okay. this was... All right, I'm just going to give people a chance to kind of just look at this. So we're going to start at the top. Mm hmm? Oh. Look at this. Egyptian revival. <laughs> Egyptian revival, yeah. Yes, had to do with the opening of the tomb. It was a big craze. So this was the a ton mania. Yeah, yeah, totally. Red large, <laughs> very large. One of the what? So I have um, one of the catalogs that makes reference to this this room specifically. So we're gonna Onward. we're gonna go upstairs. Um, Things are going to be a lot softer up there. Okay. You know, like down here, the, a lot of commercial pieces, a lot of things for businesses. So up here, you know, more comfy, cozy. Yeah, living space. <laughs> living space, yes. Well, let's just like this area right here is That's insane. The mezzanine, yes. The mezzanine. Sorry, I'm That's just right. making a hash. <laughs> ankle. Colin. The so crown the molding is actually less complicated than the one downstairs. Mm -hmm. One downstairs has like an additional piece on it. Mm -hmm. Beautiful though, like this, this um, light is gorgeous. And then the space just feels so nice. And yeah, that with the light from the um, clock. Okay. And then this is probably the only art deco clock around, grandfather clock around. Right. It's incredible. I kind of speculate that it is a custom piece probably for a lobby because the way it's built is built like the old bars from yeah, the time the period. deco bar right mm -hmm. yeah it might have been right there next to the bar yep or in a hotel lobby it's when you wanted something traditional like a grandfather clock but you didn't want a traditional grandfather clock <laughs> <laughs> there you go all right yep. so, so so this is the hall of the you know crown molding and this is my the doctor in residence. <laughs> this was his area. Yeah. So, so this, this is my son's artwork. So you know you've heard of the Hall of Shame. <laughs> this is the Hall of Shame. <laughs> the Hall of Shame. Good job, Shane. Right. <laughs> Some funky stuff in here. Right. Wow. Look at this. Oh. So this was the original formal living room. And. Um, oh, he's got to go to the fireplace. Yeah, amazingly, that wasn't taken out of the building. <laughs> Great shape. Yeah. Used, I assume? They did, did they burn wood in it? Gas. Yes. It's for gas. There's the only piece of furniture in this building that I own. Oh, gosh. That. That's not true. It's not? 
It's not no, exactly true. It's not exactly true. <laughs> this is true. Okay. 1880s from Lyon, France. It's very German. It's very German, yes. Uh, it's, uh, this is like a, what, um, uh, the, it's, the swan is pricking its breast and the goslings are drinking the blood. That's very German. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't get much more Prussian than that. <laughs> Leon's like right. next to Germany. It's between Germany yeah. and France. Sarah's style was Art Deco, but my style was turn of the century heavy carving. Right. <laughs> it is Wait. gorgeous. Um, it doesn't, I don't know that it goes in the 1941 uh, U.S. <laughs> building, but otherwise it's perfect. So. As long as I am here, my piece is staying. <laughs> it's beautiful. Should we go to the bathroom first? Yeah, the bathroom. The bathroom is, you know, it's cool. Um, yeah. So this bathroom. Um, so this is vitrolite. Right? This is vitrolite. So this took, you know, this was a pretty quick acquisition, but getting enough black to do this took a while. So the black is vitrolite. Well, that's the floor's granite, granite, but this black is. Vitrolite. I laid the floor, and Sarah did all the walls. Yes, this is the project. This is the project no one wanted to help me with. <laughs> Tommy did. Tommy did, but nobody else wanted to because they said it was too complicated. <laughs> it looks complicated. <laughs> too <It's> difficult. <laughs> Maybe more close to this Yeah, isn't that beautiful? It's like fire. Original circuit box. Ooh. Yeah. Still in use. All the conduit oh, you your fuses in there, yeah. All the conduit went there, so it just made sense sure. to leave it. Why not? And then that is a uh, laundry chute. Yeah. Oh, that is. Yeah. I would have thought that was a fuse box. Nope. Got a chute that goes to the basement there. Mm -hmm. Then this is a stairwell that literally goes nowhere. But it used to go somewhere. It used to have a door that went outside oh, at see. the bottom, and they bricked it up, and then it's just a, a stairwell to nowhere. It's just a storage stairwell. It's plant storage because yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of plants. <laughs> so here's a bedroom. Um, Our bedroom was three bedrooms and a hallway. See the line? That's the hallway. It went to the end. At the end, there was a door the size of a window. So someone would come in that side door, come up those stairs that we just saw, and the doctor's office was the end of the hallway, and he would come out and dispense drugs after hours. Mm. Maybe. <laughs> we don't know, really. We're just kind of speculating. It had to be. Yeah. It's pretty strange, though. Well, but why? <laughs> there was there was one of those mop sink stations here, <laughs> and then there were two hand sinks, one for each bathroom, and then there was a toilet right here that they shared. Uh -huh. Right. So now it's a nice big space. Yeah, it's a nice big bedroom. Sure. I love big bedrooms and I love big bathrooms. <laughs> yeah. And is is that vitral right there? No, that's marble, like that's the floor. Marble. But I picked up the design from the vanity. It's the et etching in the vanity. Yeah, the vanity's beautiful. Yeah, that's Ron Weber, oh. 30s. It's a curly maple and Macassar ebony. And those are Bakelite, actually, Bakelite handles. And glass ball feet. It's pretty. <laughs> oh, there's a glass ball feet. Uh, so the building was built in 41, finished in 42. And it was state of the art for the time. It is incredibly overbuilt. It's three bricks deep, and the interior structure is concrete. Plus, it has um, the fire tiles between each floor because it needed to be fireproof because there are incinerators in the basement. Uh, and the walls were all plaster, there was no wood at all in the structure. So, um, Pretty much fireproof. It is oh, fireproof. The and, walls were made of the, these yeah. blocks, huge blocks, two foot by 16 inches that were called pyro bar, made in St. Louis, and it's made of gypsum, like drywall. Same thing as drywall, oh, wow. but in a mm -hmm. block. Serious. So oh, that's yeah. how it's got its name, the fortress, because it's overbuilt. It's <laughs> This is it the really place is. to come if anything goes down. I'm coming your way. Definitely. So, it's, it's, I believe it was a fallout shelter in the basement. I do not doubt that. I do not doubt that. Because it's it is it's crazy and it was built right before the war and but you know the war was going on that's uh -huh. why I think it was yeah you wonder if that was. influenced it right yeah it was turbulent times right all right because people didn't know and you probably wanted something that, that was, was permanent a tough time yeah <laughs> right.
Come down. All right, so this is the um, pharmacy side of the basement. And we have a fire door because there are incinerators back there. So I can't really show you because there's storage and it's just kind of a, you know. <laughs> but the door's cool. Yes, it's oh, yeah. chaos back there. That's right. <laughs> and it's, I, it's contained. Right. And over here is the dumb waiter. Okay, so tell us about why they needed this. So the dumb waiter would have taken the pharmaceuticals upstairs. Everything was made down here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably in the upstairs background. they killed this, but downstairs they just left it. Right. So it's they cool. were formulating down here mm -hmm. and then, you know, whatever, making it into the end product. Yes. And yes. it was probably with controlled substances. So definitely. They had to put it into this dumb way that was secure, very <laughs> It goes up. Yeah, it's all counter -made. to the pharmacy upstairs. Got it. Right. And then so they stored the pharmaceuticals in the vault. Look at yeah, this. you look at the vault and go, they have a lot of money? And it's like, no, but they have a lot of opium. They have a lot of opium. <laughs> <laughs> That's Big a, deal. This is great. It's very heavy. Does it work? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So you'd like this, when I mean, you, you can, have a vault, Shelter, you literally have a vault in your basement. Yes, yeah, see, you can crank, see it's turning. Look hey, it's that. a bathroom now, so it's like the perfect panic room. How does the wi <laughs> how's the Wi-Fi in there? <laughs> <laughs> non existent? Yeah. There was a booster. I have a booster. But I have to. Yeah. Oh, look at this. <laughs> look at this door. So it's, it was a pretty sizable vault. Yeah. Now a bathroom. Now a bathroom. Mm -hmm. Not much going on except for the oh, this was all concrete and you could see like the wood graining from the forms they poured it in mm -hmm. really? and so i did this texture and it covered it perfect mm -hmm. you'd never know it's so like, this was oh. kind of yeah right like the planking was on mm -hmm. the wall so it was pretty dark and sinister if you spent much time in that i would think this is nice. right yeah that's more vitrolite. Vitrolite. vitrolite wow i'm obsessed with vitrolite and i just found some more a week and a half ago <laughs> did you I did. So this, we didn't know what to do with this room, and uh, there was a plumbing stack. And I go, you know what? We could build a false wall. Mm. I had the stack, and then we'll run all of our plumbing. So yeah, because you're not going to be drilling into the side of a vault wall. So what do you do? <laughs> we tried. We were going to make tried. a walk-in closet <laughs> from the bedroom. I couldn't get through it. <laughs> it's got a ton of rebar in it. Every time it hits one, it's like, boom, you're done. So it's a serious vault. It wasn't just, you know, the door. It was all the way around. Right. No, oh, the guy was so serious about this. Like, this is the concrete post holds up the building. But this is also concrete, not the block, because the block was kind of soft. You could get through concrete. it. Mm -hmm. So he did this ubiquitous concrete wall. I couldn't figure out why. And then I realized he didn't want someone hammering through the wall to get at his drugs. Yeah. <laughs> And then you have this beautiful guest bedroom. guest bedroom, yes. It's, oh man, <laughs> tell us about it. So this this was probably where they were. You know, the, they had a lounge, um, I think, down here for the pharmacy. Maybe this is where they stored other things. You know, product. Mm -hmm. And uh, so. So you converted into a period correct yes bedroom with all of the latest technology that's right so and in, you know i love that curved wall i love curves yeah. <laughs> i think marcel had first of all you carpet down here but secondly i think there was a pool table here yeah <laughs> i think it was in the middle room yeah the um <laughs> this furniture is excellent that came from memphis the uh, bedroom set Sammy and I drove down to buy it, found it on Craigslist, and then I stripped it and refinished it because it was yeah, it was pretty it was rough. Yeah, she's really good at <laughs> all that stuff's veneer. If I tried stripping it, I'd ruin it. I'd be really careful. Mm -hmm. oh, lovely. So down here, um, so you can come down these stairs and this is where I think Marcel had his pool table. Okay. And this, this was the waiting area originally. And, and then those were bathrooms, men's and women's. You have another fire door back there? I do. Yeah, we do. <laughs> is 
Is that okay? Is that a real door? That's yes, that's okay. a real door. <laughs> so Slider. Yeah, okay. So yeah. it's again keeping fire in mind and security mm -hmm. in mind. Mm -hmm. It really is the fortress. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go over here and just shoot some of this. Can you tell us about this collection here? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, it's a Hager and McCoy pottery. I collect pottery, vintage pottery. There's a was this section. in the forties? I would say early forties, right? Uh, yeah, forties. Some of it's old, uh, newer fifties. You know, okay. just in there. First, it was it was built for the clinic. How long was the big clinic? It was a clinic until I want to say the when was it the seventies? Seventies, yeah. yeah. It was early seventies when mm -hmm. our buddy was the Grand Poobah when it was wow. the, Elks. the Elks. Nice. So then after the Elks was the and it was it's interesting because I've come across some Elks that didn't even know that there was a lodge here. They're like, oh, I thought it was over on Lindell, huh. and I'm like, well, yeah, there was that, but this was like a kind of an unofficial. Elks. It's a cool place to have a lodge. <laughs> right. And I knew some other people who uh, said they had some wonderful parties here. That's I all he bet. said. <laughs> I think you should have a really great party. I, we we I'm have sure wonderful have parties. <laughs> so after it was the Elks Lodge, then it turned into Marcel's. And Marcel's was a jazz club. Oh. Marcel Strong. So Mar this was a jazz club. Mm -hmm. How appropriate. Right. <laughs> A friend used to come down here and said it was really crazy. Like Marcel would be up there playing, and then he'd jump down and bust the tables in between oh sets. <laughs> like, yeah, that's great. Yeah. Okay. Wow, look at this. All right, this uh, this was our um, original kitchen when the kids grew up, <laughs> and it's uh, filled with some St. Louis artifacts, um, the Empire Sandwich sign came from Cherokee in Texas. It was a, an emergency demolition because the back fell into <laughs> the property all the way down, affecting the first floor. The entire um, shop had porcelain enamel just like this. So you fished that out of the wreckage? And no, so, <laughs> so, so we saw that it was, um, they were doing the demolition and we stopped by and went and said, hey, you know, we want to save these signs because there were two of them actually. And uh, so we went and bought a, I don't know, like a grinder <laughs> and brought a ladder and we're up there like, you know, drilling and, you know, grinding and grinding because the screws were completely rusted. <laughs> that was the only right way. Right off the building. Yeah, right. So and this is ceramic, right? Yeah, it's porcelain enamel, yes. Okay. Wow. It's beautiful. Yeah. Shape. Yeah. And so so they were like, buildings coming down, you gotta hurry, you gotta hurry. And we're like, oh we're we're doing it as fast as we can. <laughs> look at some of these other you got other sides going on here. Oh yeah. Art deco or... Oh yeah. So this came out of the Chase Park oh, Plaza. Wow, look at that. The Merry Go Round was the name of the lounge. This screams like I don't know, lounge yeah. 50s maybe. Forties. <laughs> it was forties, okay, yeah. 40s. Mm -hmm. So this is the last project of the building, and this is the furthest point in the building. That <laughs> it's way in the back corner. This is vitrolite, I assume. This is vitrolite, yes, and this is I probably the pink picks up. This is pink here, mm -hmm. like, like like a coral, like a, yeah, like, a, a coral. like a peachy pink, yeah. And this is just beautiful again. This is the same round we have. Mm -hmm. This is the pinker look. Mm -hmm. Is this the drill as well? Yes. So the cream, it's like a 15 years of collecting that to be able to do one project. Yeah. Takes, it, it takes a long time, you know, to, to accumulate, and then you can't really, you know, um, break any pieces because yeah, like there's, <laughs> there's no, no scraps. There's no yeah. scraps, right. And, and there's the throne. Yeah, this is a coral throne here, <laughs> ensconced in vitrolite, right. as one needs to be in one's throne. And then look at this gorgeous thing you figured out. Yeah. So you backed, obviously, a period piece right. with vitrolite. Yes. So salvage this. Everything's salvaged in this room. Yeah. I'd been carrying this around for 25, 30 years, somewhere in there. I got it from... The Restore, when it used to be on Forest Park. 
that in the toilet. And look at this little niche you built. That was a doorway at one time. Oh, was that a doorway? But it was closed it's off. It's got vitrolite. It's completely surrounded. Surrounded with vitrolite. <laughs> this might. This is just beautiful work. Okay, so this we don't have a yard. We basically have this building, and that's it, <laughs> right? So uh, we're calling. Uh, well, we decided we're calling this an up yard. Instead of a backyard. <laughs> so stuff. I love the view of the lamp. Such a good view. Let's go over here and look at the lamp. Yeah.